Well, hello. This is Amusing Want Ads number three. So let's jump in and see what we're going to do in this lesson. Well, in this English lesson, we're going to explore Amusing Want Ads. And first we'll explain, I'll talk about what is a want ad. This is an example right here. It says, free rent in exchange for elderly woman. Strange. <laughs> All right. We're also going to analyze vocabulary as we go. And we'll use images, dictionary, whatever, to make sure we understand. Okay. So the first part, what are want ads? Well, want ads are commonly found in the classified section of the newspaper. And it's usually at the back of the newspaper and people put all their little advertisements in. And we can see here there are different categories, different kinds, jobs, commercial real estate for sale. Uh, oh, this must be a real estate, Boynton Beach, Lake Delray Beach, employment. Yeah, so there's a lot of different things that people will advertise for or they're trying to sell something or they want something. Here's another example. All right, so there's announcements, miscellaneous for sale, autom automobiles wanted, da da da. So this is the classified section once again, and people will pay a fee to the newspaper depending on the size of the ad. This one would, this one would cost more than this one because uh, it's bigger, right? So here, let's take a look at an example want ad. This one is for a 2001 Honda Civic, which is a car. And uh, let's take a look. What is a 2001 Honda Civic? All right. So it's an older car, 2001, you know, like 18 years ago. But at this time, they wanted to sell their car. So a 2001 Honda Civic, 182K. So that would be 182 thousand miles i think this these wants want ads are from the u.s so uh we would use miles right other countries use kilometers All right it says new ac so ac just means air conditioning right all right so new ac alternator and tires all right alternator is a part of the engine which allows the battery to charge and it right it works well. Let's take a look. Alternator. The car alternator. All right. So it's just part of, in your engine that uh, keeps your battery charged and allows you to do more things. Okay. So also has new tires. It says $1,100. We probably would just say $1,100 OBO. Hmm. In classified ads, it's very common to see the letters OBO. This is an acronym, which means each letter stands for a different word. So it's or best offer. All right? Let me you know, underline each one. So it's OBO. And if you're reading the ad, uh, you wouldn't say OBO. You would say or best offer. It's understood. That if you're reading the ad, it say $1,100 or best offer, right? So you wouldn't say $1,100 OBO, you would just say or best offer. And then it has the phone number to contact the person if you're interested in buying it. So or best offer basically means that it's understood that they're probably not going to get $1,100. They're going to accept less, right? So you can pay me $1,100 or I will accept the best offer. And if we're talking about the best offer, it's the highest that someone is willing to pay for the car. So if you have like five, I don't know, two people, let's say, and someone says, okay, I'll give you $900. And another one says, well, I'll give you $1,000. So it's likely the person will take the $1,000 offer because it was the highest offer. It was the best offer. Okay, so this is an example want ad. Pretty straightforward, nothing amusing or funny here. All right, so let's jump in. We're going to look at three different want ads, and they are a little bit unique, right? So let's take a look. Here we go. So this is the first one. It says, for sale by owner, right? It's just common language you'll see even when people sell houses. 
Sometimes they'll stick a sign in front of their house that says for sale by owner. Take a look. And if it's in real estate, that means they're not using a real estate agent. You can deal with the owner directly. And this can be good or bad depending on the situation. If you use a real estate agent, they're kind of like your representative, right? And then uh, the owner doesn't have to have as much headache answering phone calls and all that. However, the real estate agent, they will charge a commission, right? 3%, 4%, whatever it is in that area. But if it's for sale by the owner or for sale by owner, uh, they will accept people's phone calls directly, right? So they will take all of the phone calls, they'll answer all the questions, they'll give a walkthrough. A walkthrough is just like visiting the house, looking through it, stuff like that. Okay, so here we go. So for sale by owner, complete set of Ex Encyclopedia Britannica. 45 volumes, excellent condition, $1,000 or best offer. Here they didn't put OBO, they spelled it out, or best offer. No longer needed, got married last weekend, wife knows everything. All right, so let's take a look at this step by step. So first, if we look, it says, uh, complete set of Encyclopedia Britannica 45 volumes volumes right maybe i'll use the square oh, so we can see what we're talking about all right so let's take a look at encyclopedia britannica media britannica i'm going to put books because these are the volumes right it was common when i was growing up it's not so common now because everything is electronic right however it was common in our house we had something similar it's a whole selection of books with information right that's basically what it is they alphabetize it they put it by section and you can learn about things in the world right and now it's not so popular because you know computers internet google stuff like that but before these were really popular right so if you hear about volumes of Encyclopedia Britannica, then uh, this is what we're talking about. Okay, so this is what they're selling. They're selling uh, the complete set. All right, complete set means all of the books are there. Nothing is missing, right? Okay, so complete set of Encyclopedia Britannica, 45 volume. That means 45 individual books. Excellent condition. Great. Right. So if it's like excellent condition, other ways they might say it, they could say uh, brand new, like new, just about new, huh? right? And then we have $1,000 or best offer. So they're going to sell everything to you for $1,000, most likely not $1,000 because it says or best offer. They're communicating to potential buyers that uh, they will accept lower a lower amount uh -huh. all right it says no longer needed right? so it's uh not a complete sentence but it's very common in want ads that they won't write out the whole sentence because the complete sentence they would be like the the encyclopedias are no longer needed that takes up a lot of space and then you have to pay extra to be able to put all the words in there. So people will use incorrect English, but they will just use the main words to make sure people understand. All right, so here's where it gets interesting. Mm -hmm. Got married last weekend. So the correct sentence, which we talked about, they probably won't put it because it takes too many words. Correct sentence, I got married last weekend, or we got married last weekend, something like that. And wife, Wife knows everything. Hmm. So if the wife knows everything, that means we don't need encyclopedias. And it's kind of a joke here uh, that uh, it's common for a husband maybe to joke that, oh yeah, my wife knows everything. And it's not literal, right? It doesn't mean she actually knows everything in the volumes of Encyclopedia Britannica, 
It just means that she probably has very strong opinions. So in other words, she has very strong uh, opinions. Huh? We could say her perspective on things is very well known. Huh? We could also say maybe she's not afraid to speak her mind. And if we say speak her mind or I spoke my mind, it means you just say what you're thinking, right? And uh, you speak up. And now, uh, the wife's personality, it could be good or bad. It depends on your point of view. If she's completely like overbearing and telling people what to do and no, 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 then it can be annoying. However, if she is very intelligent and she knows what she's talking about, then it's good, right? And she can stand up for herself and show confidence. So this one, it's just kind of a joke. Got married last weekend. Don't need the encyclopedia anymore because my wife knows everything. So I suppose some people could take offense to this. I think it's light humor, but it, it kind of shows that the person who's selling the product has a sense of humor. So whoever might read this article or this want ad, if there are a lot of want ads selling uh, similar products, they might say, hey, that one's kind of neat. You know, if it's funny, maybe we'll check it out. Okay, so this is the first want ad for sale by owner, a complete set of Encyclopedia Britannica. Right. Let's go to the second one. All right, a little bit longer. Okay, so the item that they're selling is a soccer ball. And in the US, we say soccer. Everybody else in the world seems to say football, right? So, but we say soccer. I think a couple other countries do too, but either way, this is a soccer ball. So, uh, I'm going to copy it, I suppose. We'll put it back here. All right, so this is what they're selling. And usually people will read the item, soccer ball, and go straight to the price. At least that's what I do. So we'll look at the price and see if it seems reasonable. And then we'll look at the details. So here we go. Soccer ball. And he put some stars in there. Like, wow, this is interesting information. Signed by either Pele, the former Brazilian soccer player, widely renowned by most experts and fans to be the finest player that has ever existed. Or by some guy named Peter, $75, 901-529, da, 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 da. Okay. So we can say this want ad, it's kind of, it's kind of wordy. In other words, there's a lot of words, right? And it uses a lot of words, or we could say it has a long explanation. Right? But it's interesting. So, signed by either Pele, which is the former Brazilian soccer player, widely renowned, widely renowned, whoop, at, to be the finest player that has ever existed. So, widely renowned means information that is accepted by pretty much everyone, right? And let's take a look who Pele is because he is incredibly famous, right? You just have to put in four letters and ta-da, right? So famous, so incredibly famous. Um, yeah. Yeah, so one of the greatest soccer players, football players that ever lived, and I think he's still alive. And uh, yeah, just incredible. All you can say is incredible. So. I would agree, he says, widely renowned by most experts and fans to be the finest player that has ever existed. Okay, so he has the ball and there's a signature on it. And he said it might be signed by either, by either, right? Because there are two different options. So maybe it's signed by Pele, the famous guy, or by some guy named Peter. So... We have Pele who would sign it, and it would probably be worth much more than $75. Or some guy named Peter, like a little kid who put his name on the ball because he wants, doesn't want people to, he doesn't want to lose it, and he wants to know which ball is his. So the humor, I guess, is that he, whoever has this want ad probably knows already that this ball 
that he's selling does, is not signed by this famous, incredibly famous guy. Probably just some ball that he found and it has the name Peter on it. Maybe it's not clear, maybe it's scribbled. All right, let's see if we say scribbled. Oh, scribble writing, which means it's not super clear. So maybe it's like P-E and it kind of looks like an L or maybe a T. And so <laughs> with this want ad, he's just kind of taking his chance, right? Taking his chances. You could say, a good one. He's taking his chances. With this, uh, he's taking his chances, right? Which means he is, um, you know, um, what's how would we say it? He's taking his chances. He is kind of gambling. He's gambling <laughs> to see if someone will actually buy it. Right? So he's taking a chance, right? It's not sure if it will work, not sure if it won't work, but he's taking his chances with this want ad, right? Because he has to pay money to put this ad in the paper. And he's thinking maybe either it's funny or that someone actually might pay $75. He doesn't even put OBO here. He doesn't put or best offer. So the, it's most likely that it's just an old soccer ball with the name Peter on it, but he's trying to make it sound Hey, it's possible that it's signed by Pele. Okay, so this was want ad number two. Let's do want ad number three. Okay, for sale, one pair hardly used dentures, only two teeth missing. $100 or best offer. Call Ira, 878, da da da, after six. All right, and then 029. Not sure what the 029 means if it's maybe a section number or uh, the number for that specific uh, advertisement i'm not sure but let's see first we have dentures and hardly used all right so let's see hardly used dentures oh there's a d there okay so first let's look what are dentures this is important to know especially if you're planning to pay 100 dollars Okay, so dentures are fake teeth, right? So it's common for older people, or I guess anybody who doesn't have teeth, they can uh, get these made, and then they just put them inside on top of their gums. The, gums. the gums are the pink part, and if you don't have any teeth, it's just there, and then they put these on top. And they have some sort of like glue or sticky stuff to make it stay in place, I guess. I remember my grandpa. <laughs> He had dentures, and sometimes he would joke and he would pop them out, as in he would take them out and then be like, because it's kind of strange if you don't have teeth in. Huh? Okay, so these are dentures. They're just false teeth. That's what you could say. Fake teeth, false teeth. So hardly used dentures would be, uh, we could say slightly used false teeth. All right. So hardly, hardly means like just a little, not much, right? So used just means that someone has put them in their mouth before and had them and probably got them dirty and wet and all that stuff, but slightly used. So they haven't been used very often, okay? Still kind of strange. So one pair, hardly used dentures. Ah, and we say a pair. It would be the top one and the bottom one. So I think in the picture there were two, right? You have the top ones and you have the bottom ones. And this would be one pair because a pair is two, two things, right? So a pair of dentures. What a great topic. Okay, so, ah, more information. Only two teeth missing, All right? So let's see if we can find a picture of dentures with teeth missing. Okay. All right, so maybe it is, I don't know, something like this. So there's a, an open gap, a space where there should be a tooth that there is no tooth. So that kind of hurts it. What? <laughs> Only two teeth missing, $100 or best offer. 
And to tell you the truth, I'm not really sure how much dentures cost. Not in that market yet. Let's see. Maybe we can take a look. How much do dentures cost? All right. This would be in... Should be probably in US dollars. Let's take a look. Dentures cost... Average cost is $1,800. Holy cow. So this would be in the US. US is, is known for having very high medical costs. So people probably would have insurance. The average cost is $1,800. Wow, that's a lot. All right. So I guess it depends what kind. It also can go down to 300, but up to 3,000. And I think it's because they make them specifically for your mouth, right? If they're made for someone else and you put them in your mouth, it, they might not sit correctly and they'll move around. And when you're eating, they might pop out and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so, all right. So the person is selling their dentures and there are two teeth missing. All right, actually this reminds me of something. If I can find it, there was a video, uh, Low out cake dentures. I remember there was this older lady. Aha, here it is. Let's see if, if it works. If it will load. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not the GIF. I need the GIF. Ah, one sec. All right, let's see a little bit bigger one. Let's try that. If it will load, I think it will. And we'll see dentures in a moment. So it's her birthday and Wow! <laughs> so she blew so hard, and I think her top dentures fell out. And then she laughed, so she didn't feel embarrassed. Let's see if this is a different point of view. Well, they had two cameras on her. Nice. She's 102 years old. Oh, they don't show it on this one. All right. Take a look. Maybe they'll show the whole thing so we can see it from a different point of view. <laughs> okay, so her dentures flew out. Mm -hmm. Her expensive dentures flew out. All right. So is it likely that anybody's going to buy these? Well, probably not. Uh, but you can call Ira or Ira at 878 and then whatever the number is. After 6. When it says after 6, it probably means after 6 p.m. After 6 p.m. There's, it's likely she's working, she has another schedule or something, but she won't be available until after 6 p.m. Not available until after 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was our third amusing want ad. The first one was for Encyclopedia Britannica, because the wife knows everything. Mm -hmm. The second one was for a soccer ball which the guy is trying to make us think that it was signed by a famous soccer player or famous football player but it's probably just something he found in his garage and then the last one was used dentures all right so let's take a look what did we cover in this lesson well we explored amusing want ads hmm. we looked at some of the vocabulary right and this is the one that we saw kind of at the beginning. It says free rent in exchange for elderly woman. So if we put elderly woman, elderly just means older, right? Maybe senior citizen, someone with gray hair, white hair, but they're like, you know what, uh, 70, 80 years old, right? Maybe an older, so elderly, all right? So this is free rent in exchange for elderly woman which makes you think they didn't write it how they wanted to, because if you understand it directly, it means that uh, if you give them, like in a box or in a bag, you give them an elderly woman, you don't have to pay your rent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. So improve your English, become more valuable. Improve your ability to communicate, talk with people, and you become more marketable, you have more skills. And it's not only English, right? It can be whatever you're focused on in life. Do it well, put your time into it, improve, become a better person. 
then you you help yourself of course but when you're helping yourself you also help people around you and you become more valuable all right so if you enjoy our stuff here at youtube make sure to subscribe hit the like button we would appreciate it if you're already subscribed click on the bell button and youtube will send you a message when uh we have something new <clears throat> okay and my tradition is at the end of my lessons i like to show a random picture and i will describe it briefly okay so what do we see in this picture well if you ask me I see three cups of coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, so I don't know a lot of the technical words, but I think it's like espresso. Is that right? Espresso with a design in the cream or a design made with the cream. I think what they do is they have the coffee and then they have like white cream or something and they pour it on top, right? And then they make the design. Let's see, maybe we can find a GIF. Uh, coffee, cream, uh, design if right, let's see what happens there we go all right let's see aha there we go neat let's see if we can find one that's a little bit longer let's see how about we put try right, this one all right so he's pouring the cream into the coffee and it doesn't mix right away so it allows him the ability to make something which is kind of cool it's kind of unique creative and it's like a little heart with a fern makes me think of a fern and let's see a, a plant fern is a plant uh-huh so it kind of has let's see we'll do a fern leaf all right so it kind of has like that design because the cream goes back and forth all right so they have different designs the one over here looks like a heart this one is like a fern, like I said, and this one seems kind of like a flower, something like that. But it's kind of neat if you're into coffee and you get your coffee and you're like, ah, that's just so neat. All right, it looks like they're on a wooden table. <clears throat> and we could say the coffee cups are placed, uh, are spaced apart equally, equally spaced apart and in a row, right? One, two, three. We could also say the one in front or in the foreground the background is back here the foreground is here the coffee cup in the foreground uh, is very clear and in focus however the coffee cups as they go farther back they become out of focus they become blurry it's a little bit difficult to see them right all right so time of day I'm gonna guess it's light in the background it looks like the lights probably shining in through the window it could be afternoon it could be any almost any time of day when there's light I'm gonna guess like mid-morning but I don't know for sure. The location I would say is probably a coffee house, coffee shop, or somewhere where they sell coffee. And I think it's gonna be more specialized for coffee, not just like a quick convenience store, because they're willing to put the time in to make the design in the cream, or use, it, use the cream to make the design in the coffee. Right, okay, so that is it for today. Uh, we are Able Lingo. You can find us all around. We're on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, and Telegram. Telegram is the most recent one. We've got lots of stuff there, daily stuff, multiple things daily. And it's with, oh, with the daily task, phrasal verbs, idioms, and a lot of great stuff. Okay, so that is it for today. Have a wonderful day and see you soon.